Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and we have Wakanda Forever, Hearts 009876, sorry but I can't participate right now. We're here for the Wakanda Forever patch and my first opinion, I drop it down below in uh, the live stream I did like uh, yesterday I think from the day I'm gonna upload this video. And yes, my general thoughts is uh, kind of uh, meh, I mean, the first reaction is that, and the only cool stuff, uh, you know, the really nice uh, update I can see and say to you, uh, day one is Suri, I mean, I test here without a CTP, I test here uh, with no build, and C is quite cool. Uh, she is able to do stuff that others can't. Uh, really, Williams Ironheart is really mm, weird, and Namor. Uh, I mean, really, it feels like you're proking and you're gonna do a huge impact. But she is so she has smooth rotation, but it's kind of weird. I, I'm gonna do separate video for each character, you know. Uh, one by one but today is the time for my boy Namor and I was lucky enough getting him level 80 and thank god because as level 70 I test him in the live stream and guys believe me if you go back there and see his damage is so bad he is not able to do stage 50 of now uh, as I was able to do with uh, Iceman so in the power level as level 70 you need to understand that he's worse than the previous uh, mutants we'd get which is storm and iceman as level 70 100 and you have to consider my build is uh i mean i never unequip his audience blessing uh from uh, his first build so my testing is with all this audience blessing and with the cdp of judgment and at level 80 because why you should go and buy a uniform and premium character and pay the um, buy a subscription thing and all this stuff if this character is worse than the others in the same category or tags so yes i'm gonna compare him right now with storm i'm gonna compare him with black bolt you know it, it's uh, a mutant so I'm gonna compare him with mutants. He is a super villain. I'm gonna compare him with super villains. For combat, it's really hard to compare because the super villain combats I have, Carnage and Hulk, they are already tier four. And for the others, you know, like Venom and Moon Knight, it's kind of weird because the stage I can utilize this character. Uh, it's uh, human. It's human combat. So you can't really use him in the very high stages of this world boss because he's hu he's not human, he's mutant. So the only way to utilize Namor, uh, it's sad, but it's only on stages, you know, even here, hero, mutant, you can't. So look at this Ultron, uh, stage 25 for Ultron, it's quite low. For now, the good is that you can, you're gonna find out if you can use him instead of Storm and make it through, you know, stage 50 to stage 54 instead of Storm because at the moment it was a paywall thing, you can't really go through this without these characters. Uh, only Iceman for my account did like stage 51, 52, but really hard. And also for Mephisto, uh, you can't really use him into this one uh, or here Yes, the only way was stage 55. So I compare him with Black Bolt in stage 55 I compare him in stage 50 with Storm and for Gore I compare him with uh, also Black Bolt at stage 30 so i'm gonna give you a first flavor of his rotation also before we're going through uh his uh, the the actual gameplay and of course i did record some gbr you know it, it, it's it's just the start because 
he don't have raids, but I'm gonna show you how fast he can clear GBR without a raid. So his rotation it's kind of we uh, different from the previous rotation he had, and now you pretty much want to do five delay cancel until you see the whale popping out after you do your your fourth skill and after you're canceling into your third skill you need to be careful because your third skill got huge range but you can't really cancel into other skills if you are out of range from, for the other skills so you want to do you want to be close do five cancel four cancel three and tier three if you have the tier three on and the good part with his tier three because it's so long you can do you know you can delay your fifth skill do your fourth skill delay a bit your third skill proc and as soon as you proc you drop your tier three so your tier three gets some of the proc in the start of your tier three and enables the very next proc into the end of the tier three so you're double proking into your tier 3 uh, but yes let me go and show you the actual gameplay as you can see i am kind of undercapped on cooldown but yeah uh, it's not a big deal i couldn't swap the ctps uh, i mean the urus and figure out what's the best for him but you can see 57,000 physical attacks see he should be out of your mind good so yeah let's check the game like i'm using a ctp of judgment because first of all i didn't have the raids uh when the uh, when i started the live stream i didn't have the raids and i didn't knew that uh, there is a sale on unequipping ctps so um i i tried him with a judgment but i was lucky because i saw that people said that uh, judgment feels to be better for him he's having some trouble to enable uh the the rage proc uh but yes that's kind of uh, an information i didn't have and i had only judgment uh so you we're going to compare him except having to compare his damage uh, well, you have to compare him with the raids also people feel like uh, I've seen a lot basically uh, saying, saying that raids is not that good but I can't really tell you that using raids or judgment gonna do huge impact into your name more I feel like for world boss legend perhaps it's pretty much the same but uh, yeah before before you feel bad for the rage you have in your namor because you had it from uh, w way back uh, when he came when he came and he was usable for uh, uh, abx and yes compare him with another mutant in stage 50 it's pretty fair because uh, in the game in the period of the game in this current meta you want mutants for two reasons one is this uh, which is the weird tags in world boss legend and the other is abx and guys you saw there uh, my name more needed like one minute to clear the stage uh, and in the same time storm needs 30 seconds 38 seconds yes 38 seconds and before before we go through that let me show you something I want to show you what my storm has she's doing half of the time for the first 30 for the first 30 stages i utilize here with cyclops and with team with cyclops and valkyr and name more it was her support because she's giving elemental support and it's bigger than cyclops buff for name more and i use name more's lead uh, because he doesn't he doesn't he's not capped on critical rate as you can see and his own leadership gives him critical rate so that helps him to cap the critical rate so uh, before you start saying oh yeah why you use his uh, his leadership and you have to figure out that uh, storm got 53,000 energy attack and my name more has 57 and she got like half of the other's blessing as you can see and she has a CTP of Rage, where CTP of Rage for her is worth for World Boss Legend. And I also have her artifact. 
So you have to consider that. So Neymar got better built audience blessing wise. Uh, Storm got her own artifact, but less attack in total. My cards is pretty similar. Uh, I mean, the difference in between, uh, it's not the thing, you know. Yeah, I have 20% more energy attack, but I have both procs, so doesn't really matter. And let me go through and show you Black Bolt also. Uh, he is way worse built than uh, my Namor. And I'm showing you, I'm seeing you a name, um, Black Bolt's build because I want you to, to consider what I have invested on him and how his ties creation, sorry bro, I can't right now. So before you see the gameplay, you want to know the builds and I, I run through the gameplay. So at the moment for World Boss Legend, there is no way uh, he's better than Storm. From the one side, from the other side, he can clear also pretty, you know, easy peasy this content. So if you don't want to pay for Storm, you can go through a name more and get his uniform and do that. And you have to consider that uh, for ABX guys, the one day is Blast, Blast Superhero Mutant. So you can't really use name more. I can't really compare him. And for the other day is mutant superhero female. So whatever you were thinking, Namor can't replace Storm at the moment, uh, but he is a good solution. So let's go to the other world boss legend. And the funny part, basically, guys, I don't want to make you, you know, sad because I, in my live stream there were people saying. Oh my god, I'm sad now. Uh, my Namor, uh, I was, uh, I, I built Namor tier 4 day 1. I wanted to build tier 4 Namor. I was waiting for Namor so long and now he's bad. Uh, I don't know why your expectation was that high for Namor. Uh, but mine was also. Uh, I don't feel like he complete the expectation bar I had for him. Um, he feels like mediocre in my opinion and perhaps if he gets the tier 4 and if I get used to him more he can do even better but as you can see here I try to utilize him stage 35 also because it's a super villain stage and I can compare him with Black Bolt and I was like you know what I'm unfair to my boy perhaps it's the ignore dodge he's lacking ignore dodge so you want to use proximal leadership uh, to get some um, because both in mutant uh, tags and supervillain tags there's no ignore dodge strikers so it's hard to find some to put them there and here is how uh, the comparison gonna go for my boy uh, Namor against Black Bolt. You saw Black Bolt did 55 seconds here, Namor. Uh, it's like 10 seconds faster than stage 50, which is feels like Ignore Dodge has to do also. And Black Bolt here from the other side, You, I want you to see what he's able to pull out with pretty much <clears throat> the same buffs. I didn't put Black Bolt's leadership to be fair for Namor. And I put Namor here because it's the last tier 4 we took. Um, and the hashtags and the... I mean, no, not hashtag. The, the tags and the characters typing doesn't fit to Moon Knight or Venom. So I can do a high stage comparison for him. That's why I'm testing him against black bolt in this stage and yes you can see it's 15 seconds faster with worst build 15 seconds faster worst build name more ctp of judgment black bolt ctp of rage ctp of rage supposed to be worse for world boss legend and in the same time name more got 10 times more audience blessing than black bolt so uh, let's see mephisto in Mephisto, you know, he got a disadvantage also because of his typing. Uh, but I couldn't figure out a better team for villain and him. 
I mean, the leaderships I could use, it was so specific and there's no leadership being so good for Neymar at stage 55 of Mephisto. But uh, here um, you can see I'm trying with my rotation, it's not like the perfect rotation, but uh, yes, 10 seconds difference from the perfect rotation to a non-perfect rotation, it's pretty much what I get most of the times. Um, you know, there is times that I'm playing ABL and I'm like, oh my god, I did that mistake, I did that mistake, and after I played like 10 times the same ABL, and I'm getting similar scores, less than 100k difference. And I'm like, okay, it, it's not like I'm bad on gameplay, it's just my character don't go through more. So, 59 seconds for Mephisto stage 55, with a bunch of Odin's Blessing. And here I, I didn't think I don't think that I passed through this stage. It's kind of hard, you know, to survive on that. Uh because you you're getting a lot of damage and you have like one heal and this fire can completely destroy you. But I'm gonna let you know uh, we can count the time, you know. I'm in three minutes and thirty seconds here. I risk it and yes, seventeen bars. 325 70 bars 325 70 bars 325 with a name and let me show you with my boy black bolt i didn't start recording from the start i had to start the world boss legend before i run through that and here yeah I, i'm not playing perfect with black bolt also uh so yeah to have pretty fair runs, you know, you you have to not play perfect with both of them. And there is no way my gameplay is perfect with Black Bolt or generally. So, 10 seconds fast, basically 13 seconds faster for Black Bolt in the first phase. And you can see, I mean, don't get me wrong, Namor's tier 3 is doing a lot of damage, but you see that these boys here, <clears throat> tier 3 is destroying him. It's 7 to 8 bars when in the same time with Namor and the Bounce of Odin's Blessing, I was doing like 5 to 6 bars. Yeah, Black Bolt uh, feels better, uh, in my opinion, in raw damage, you know. And the utilizing of his skills is way better than Namor's. With Namor and his tier 3, you can't really do a lot of stuff. You're, you're letting him go through... Uh, and you can't really touch him, there is no way. And you can see here, uh, the, the damage in this phase, uh, 327, okay, so the damage was pretty similar, and my Black Bolt gets uh, a bit more buffs through this team, um, so yes, for Mephisto, even if Namor had a decent advantage, the, the results, it's kind of weird, you know, uh, they, they have similar damage, but it has to do with ignore dots that Namor missing and Mephisto doesn't need. So, in damage wise, feels like Namor is close for Mephisto and Black Bolt against Mephisto. Uh, it's similar with Black Bolt. Yeah, okay, let's go to against Gore. I went through uh, the same team up, you know, proximal lead because he needs ignore dots. And uh, it's stage 30. Uh, for some people, it's so big stage. For some others, it's not. I just stand there. I took some damage uh, like a man. And yeah, that's the deal is I'm dying again here in this try. I was trying to rush it, you know. Uh, it's kind of hard to do one day, three hours live stream to have your first impressions. And in the same day, make a video, uh, play the game, live a life, eat, do stuff, you know, work. So yeah, I didn't have time to for perfect runs, but I'm just giving you the first flavor of the damage of this dude. And I, I wanna know, I wanna make you know if you could skip him or not. Of course, it's Black Friday. Uh, in the right in the corner is Black Friday, so. Even if you skip him at the moment, you can change your mind and buy him in less than a month. 
in like 20 days uh, so yes in my opinion in general he is a solid dps but he's not bringing anything into the table for world boss legend for uh, abl i mean why building this character when we took like uh, two or three months before you know venom moon knight feels to be same damage or even better and for villains we took carnage we took hulk if you build your hulk pv he can do way better than um, namor as it seems uh of course hulk took a nerf but still uh i feel like a raids hulk could do even better than namor um but yes at the moment i can't really compare them because i have hulk tier 4 and i have and the pvp build and my name more got the city of judgment you can see there this burst is way better than name or burst black bolt's burst feels to do way more damage with his tier 3 even if namor's tier 3 is quite busted i feel like he's not doing the same damage as you can see there i'm rushing the damage i'm trying to do really fast damage and not care about staying alive or playing proper because i want to compare their damage so in my opinion guys in general uh, he's a skip he is from level 80s that you can't skip at the moment i haven't i never told you to skip a character level 80 but i i really don't feel like there is any any way that you're gonna need him instead of anyone else you already have if you manage to have already all the characters level 80 you don't really need him i'm not sure how i'm going to utilize him because uh, if you have a character like that you want to be you, you want him to be good on any game mode and in my opinion um namor with the raids um feels like it's not that good for something specific when you can't really use him for abl the newton days why taking him uh, why giving him a raids and the only reason is gbr you know if you are not going to give him a raids for abl you want to give him a raids for gbr but his output in gbr also feels bad for me i have a judgment of course but as a level 80 um my the bars i tried to move with my skills in the first phase was quite cool you can see the tier 3 is doing a lot of bars going really fast but as long as you go to the phase that um having the raids count with the judgment he feels so bad he's not doing any bars i'm 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 gonna let you see here one or two rotations with my tier three uh you can see here if you cast your tier three into far raids you can't really uh, canceling it into your tier three if you cancel your third skill if you cast your third skill in away range you can't really canceling it into your tier three and go through your skills here i almost died but I managed to survive, I cancel, I didn't cast my tier 3 there, my third skill, bad gameplay, uh, but still, 1 minute and 15 seconds with sweat and tears to go into the very next phase, and you can see here, look at this rotation, yeah, that's a rotation for Namor, half a bar, as a level 80, half a bar, I mean, I said, you know what, let's see the tier 3. Okay, halfway tier 3, half bar. All the tier 3, not even one bar. I mean, this damage is so bad, in my opinion. It's so bad. <sighs> let's go to the conclusion of this guy. 2 minutes and 3 bars from the second phase. It's not what I want to see from my, my level 80. So what I'm gonna do with this dude is uh, that I'm not gonna strip him off his audience blessing at the moment. I'm gonna test him even more. I'm gonna give him a shot. 
I'm not gonna tier for him 100%. I'm not going to suggest to anyone to tier for this character. Even if you're missing uh, mutants and you don't have storm uniform, you can utilize him as level 80 for stage 50 of null. If you have like 25 peers like me and you are missing a uh, mutant, okay, go for this uniform level 80 and do the stage 50. For the rest of the content, we don't need Namor for any reason, in my opinion. The best CTP for him feels to be Judgment, the easiest to proc and the more damage. One, uh, Rage feels like it's not proccing proper, it's not doing the same amount of damage for World Boss Legend. And for ABL and GBR, he is uh, not needed, tag-wise and type-wise. So yes, it's a mech Namor, sorry for Namor fans, but probably I'm gonna give him one month and if I find myself I'm not using him, I'm gonna strip his Odin's Blessing now after all this time I was waiting. Yeah, that was it. I hope I helped you decide. See you in the next. Bye bye to everyone.